What did I just say? We're going to start with the dark. Hey everybody, Luxenda Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. I am going to do a wine glass today. Yay! Something a little different. I usually do skinny straights, as you all know. I wanted to try a wine glass. This is, let's step up our fancy factor here, right? I am going to start by doing the tacket method. I have already taken my wine glass and I've spray painted it black on top and metallic gold on the bottom. And I am going to use the tacket method to apply a gorgeous black glitter from Mr. Nola's glitter. It's called Desire. That goes on the top and Coastal Sunrise from the Mr. Nola's Glitters Coastal Dreams Collection is a gorgeous gold and that's going to go on the bottom. I'm gonna mix up some tacket. This is just how I prefer to do it. You can do it however you like, straight out of the bottle or you can mix it half and half with water. You can mix it 75, 25% with water, whatever you feel like doing. I just add some water to it. It spreads on a little more easily that way in my opinion. It's all personal preference. Okay, so I have my not so fluffy anymore fluffy brush. I'll use that for most of this. I will probably do this part around the base here in a slightly smaller brush, just so I can get a little more control. I tend to apply two layers, letting them dry in between each layer, just because you get better coverage that way. All right, I'm gonna put this aside to dry. I will come back off camera, do the second layer, let it dry, and then bring you back, and we will apply some desire to our wine tumbler. What's your deepest, darkest desire? Let's get some glitter on this beautiful wine glass. Actually, I guess it's a wine tumbler. It is stainless steel. I'll show you a naked one here in a sec. It just happens to be shaped like a wine glass. Make sure you get full coverage. Tap off the excess. Tack it method, two to three fingers. You're gonna burnish it down onto the tumbler like this. This is not a holographic glitter, so there won't be the usual holographic rainbow, but there is still a beautiful black sparkle. Full hand. We're breaking in here to bring you this special announcement from Luxinda's Magic Hands. Did you know that you can get actual, authentic Luxinda merch? Well, it's true, you can. And what's so special about these items, you may ask? For starters, the t-shirts are made with a special blend of cotton and unicorn tears, so they're extra soft and magical. These designs are all based on Luxinda's personal philosophy, that the key to happiness is to eat pizza, pet dogs, and wear comfortable clothing. And where can you find these and so many other amazing merch items? on the merch shelf below each Luxinda video, or use the merch link in the description area. For a very limited time, we have a special merch shipping option just for you. Whatever you order from Luxinda's merch will be carefully wrapped, launched in a large weather balloon, and then the U.S. military will shoot it down over your exact location. Some shipping costs may apply. Oh, and one more thing. There's a special Luxinda channel membership available now with great perks for the members that no one else gets. Look for the join button or the join link in the description. Of course, there's never any obligation and you can cancel at any time. Now back to our video. All right, so we have a beautiful black sparkly wine glass top or globe. And now I'm gonna take this outside, spray it with a layer or two of uh, Rust-Oleum Matte Clear just to seal this glitter on before we start working on the gold part. Okay, we're back. This has been sealed on and I've put two layers of Allian's Tack It Over and Over glue on the base and that's what I'm going to pour glitter onto now. Again, this is Coastal Dreams Collection, Coastal Sunrise, and it has some pinks and blues in it, which aren't exactly what I want, but this is still the closest thing in what I have on hand in terms of gold glitter. So we're gonna go with it. Thank you. 
See the blue around the edge? Isn't that beautiful? Again, coastal sunrise. I mean, it makes perfect sense. All right, now we'll see how I do with burnishing a wine glass stem. I have not done this before. Brush this off. There we go. Take this outside and spray the bottom part so everything's sealed on. And then we'll move on to the next step, whatever that ends up being. Hey everybody, we're back. Okay, so here's where we are. We have glitter up here, we have glitter down here. They have been sealed on. I have not put any resin on this tumbler yet. And the reason is because I'm not familiar and comfortable with this particular design and how it's going to work with resin. I am trying to put off using resin as long as possible so that I don't have to put a whole bunch of layers on. If this were a skinny straight tumbler, I would be putting resin on it now to protect what I've done so far and then doing the next step on top of that resin. But trying to keep as much resin off here as possible because like I said, don't know how it's gonna behave, don't know how it's gonna work, don't know how much trouble I'm gonna have with it. And now I am going to put the decoration on. So I have my scroll design. I have printed it to the right size to go around the top of the tumbler. It is basically 11 inches long by one inch wide. And what I'm going to do to get that design on here is grab a little um, dotting tool or clay thing, sculpting tool, whatever you want to call it, and a piece of yellow carbon paper. So I'm going to start by putting this all the way around. Doesn't have to be beautiful. And then I'll just tape that in place. Hopefully. I need three hands. Why weren't we made with three hands? And then I'm going to put this all the way around. We're going to see how this works. I have done a small test and it should work, but this is a much bigger situation. So, you know, I might get a different result altogether. Okay. And I wanna keep that in place. So just to hold everything in place. That's all I wanna do at this point. And I'm gonna take my dotting tool and now I'm going to basically draw over my line through, well, onto the carbon paper, which will, if I'm really lucky, show up on my tumbler. This may not have done anything at all. I may have just done all that and nothing actually transferred. So let's carefully take this apart in case I need to do it again. And see what we have. Well, it's not bad, actually. You can just see it. I, I really didn't want it to be pronounced. Okay. Whew, that was that was a little nail biting there. It was a little tense. Not gonna lie. And now, some of you may have guessed this already, it's time for the stickles. And I need a gold. It is going to go with that gold, and that is not it. This is called Gold Dust. These are stickles, which I love. I've used them in a bunch of different videos. And if you're curious about them, well, I will link to everything below, of course. I tend to love to do drawing with glitter glue, but because I'm not a fine artist, it helps me to have something in place to work with to draw over. Now I will be doing this in sections. I am not comfortable putting this on any sort of arm and turning it that way because I need to be able to move things around. I'm going to stickle-fy this cup now and try to make it look half decent. <music> Thank you. 
All right, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna come back and do the next section. Another thing you could do if you didn't wanna do it this way is you could absolutely, at this point even, because there's no resin on here, you could use glitter HTV. You could use a tumbler press to attach the HTV to the tumbler. You could use a mini press if you wanted to do it, you know, by hand. Probably an iron if you had that option. That would be another way to get a nice, beautiful, sparkly, glittery pattern around the top of the tumbler. So, you know, I may try that on a different cup. Hey, we're back. It's the next day. What I did yesterday has dried. I am going to move on. Okay, got it. Uh, they, they look very different from each other because once this dries, more of the gold comes out. This was yesterday's. This is today's. And it makes it a little hard. All the, the black that's in there makes it a little hard for me to see against the black. But I think I got everything okay, so I'm going to put this aside and let it dry. The next time you see it, we're going to come back and put some epoxy resin over the whole thing and see where we are. And we're back. Okay, this is dried. I'm going to get some epoxy resin on this now. I am going to use Tumblr's Lightning Cure. Mm -hmm. 